Well, hello everyone, and I am particularly happy today because I cannot believe how unbelievably amazing the weather is. I mean, oh, that's awesome. Plus, I have actually never ever rock pulled here before. Today, we are at Anshrother, which is south of Dundee, kind of between here and Edinburgh. If you can kind of see that land over there, That's, that's basically the Edinburgh side of the, I want to say, fourth. Yes, fourth. Um, it's always exciting when we have a new place to go rock falling, which is super, super cool, and I could not have picked a better day for it. If you guys don't know Anstrother, um, or Anster, as the locals say, but in a much cooler Scottish accent. Um, it can be the windiest place ever. I mean seriously, you can come here and pretty much feel like you're not wearing any clothes and feel like you're naked because the wind just cuts through whatever you wear. But today that is not the case. In fact I would only say that there is barely even a light breeze which is very, very out of character for this place but absolutely blooming perfect for filming videos. It is uh, definitely a different type of rock pooling today, um, as well as the fact that it's a surprise that it's such good weather at this time of year. It's also different because the rock pools are different. Basically, we're just dealing with large channels that lead out uh, to the ocean, and um, it's sandy for one, so uh, I'm having to make sure that I don't disturb the bottom too much because that brings up a load of sediment and I can't see things. And um, but also in this channel there are hundreds if not thousands of unbelievably gorgeous juvenile uh, fish and prawns so that is absolutely wonderful to see and lots of mobile species on this shore which is really really cool to see and also a great test of my um, my ability to uh, capture moving things so we shall see hopefully fingers crossed that you guys have got some good footage at the end of it you then absolutely one of the biggest flatfish I've seen um, on the rocky shore about I don't know finger to thumb size it was great it was um, a real good find he just came swimming along and settled down and, and I got a few seconds of video before he decided that you know maybe uh, his camouflage wasn't working so well and he decided to swim off Tiny, squeaky little 
fucking baby I've ever grabbed I've ever seen ever. I love him. I love him so much. He's so cute. <laughs> I love rock pulling. It brings me such joy. And I'm speechless. As my friends and probably you can tell, I like to talk quite a bit. But the last, I don't know how long, maybe half an hour, was bonkers. I cannot believe after how many times I've gone rock pooling in my life. I've gone rock pooling hundreds of times. And I've been actively searching for nudie ranks when I've been. I don't know, since last summer. I mean, we always look for them, but I've been desperate to find them in Scotland, desperate. And honestly, it didn't cross my mind once today because I have so many other videos I need to film that like <laughs> looking for species is normally what I do when I have like more time. I'll specifically look in the spots that I think will be good. And I just turned over that bit of kelp after I saw the blue-rayed limpet and boom, I was like, it took me a second to think like is that alive and then I was like 
oh my god it's an Udi Brank because it was so out of the blue and I uh okay maybe I'm not as speechless as I th thought I said I was but I, I don't know what to say next apart from like wow oh that's just so cool and I can't believe I just stumbled across it that's crazy and the second crazy thing was is so basically the tide has obviously turned and I'm normally very good at not even getting close to cut out like I am 20 minutes ahead of that shore but this turned like quicker than I could ever have thought so about 10 minutes ago I was not even 10 minutes five minutes ago I was here and it basically went because it's connected to the sea from my ankles to almost like that far from the top of my wellies I would say in about five minutes of which I was still filming the nudie brank and I was at the other side of a channel and thought right okay I'll get a, I gotta leave him I've gotta leave the poor little thing um and I crossed over before it would get in my way but as I'm crossing over with this you know insanely fast current that you can literally see the current you can see all the seaweed like streaming past you as the sea is like right time to come in it's my zone now I'm going past there was this bumbling brown blob that just went Boo! and I think my exact words were that's a sea hair what the hell is going on because I haven't seen a sea hair in Scotland either and although it is technically uh, not a nudibranch because it has a shell inside its body it's pretty much as close to I would have counted that as <laughs> as as it if I hadn't seen the other one so I managed to film that for literally I think I might have got 30 seconds of footage and two photos because the tide is still coming in around my wellies and nipped off to the other side I just couldn't believe that of course I find a nudibranch when the tide at the shore that the tide decides to go absolutely mental and come in way faster than I thought. During this chaos I find a sea hair which I would have loved to have taken like more photos and proper pictures but didn't have the time and I yeah it, it was also a good reminder that uh, definitely again I hadn't been here before and it's it's good to not be complacent and keep an eye on it like I it was good that I noticed that it was coming in up my wellies you know like that's pretty much just all sea now instead of like that was all rock pools there was rocks in between here and there's like no rocks left because the tides come in so quick so it's always good to stay on your feet but oh my god I can't tell you how chuffed right at the end of the sampling summer season I've actually found a new bank and it was white and overexposed and I managed to fiddle around the settings on my camera and somehow my magical camera that is amazing has I think I got it onto the setting where like it just takes the overexposed white and it just focuses on that and gets rid of everything else so I think the footage is basically just black with this white new brand and that is perfect because I just wanted to show you how gorgeous and delicate and detailed they are because they're just so amazing and that round one Honestly, there's just like an octopus left, and that is my list. Oh, and a stalked jellyfish, a stalked jellyfish, and an octopus. And I'd love to see a castle fish in the wild. And I'm pretty set, guys. I'm pretty good. I'll give up rock boarding then. <laughs> That's a lie. Oh, well, you know what I mean. <sighs> I'm so glad I decided to vlog today. I wasn't going to vlog because I thought. I'll just do everything else and then I got so distracted and, and I was like I always vlog a new shore because I want to see and if it's a pile of poo then I won't come back but that has literally never happened before and honestly this this shore I was I was not too pleased about the fact that there was no rocks to turn over because that's where I find all my best stuff but you know what did need it this shore has outdone itself and I can't wait to come back and see what else I can find on another day Hopefully, maybe I'll try and squidge in another session here before before it turns too cold. But <sighs> guys, I'm so happy. I'll stop talking now. My speechlessness didn't last long today. I'm going to include that as real time footage, which you've just seen, is how quick this tide is coming in. Because you guys need to understand that when it turns, it really does turn, and you guys can't mess around. That is that much water filling this whole entire thing that I am standing in 
a limp bit in, in less than two minutes. So it's definitely, definitely a good life lesson. Just look how much water has just retaken the land. And it's time to go, it's time to go. And right now, it's time to go. I hope you've had a great time watching this. I hope you are as excited as I am to see a nudie brag because I'm so excited. And probably, I don't know what, it's like seven whole minutes or something of footage is going to end up in there with the nudie brag. And I don't care because it's awesome. Have a wonderful week, guys, and I will see you next week. Bye.